and breeding redneck supporters believe that 45 should get a third term. Now, here's the problem with that. 45 won't get a th won't get a second term, let alone a third, if they, even if they change the Constitution. Tens of thousands of 45 Klan supporters and, and inbreeding rednecks descended upon the, the Amway Center in Orlando on Tuesday to hear the squatter launch his 2020 campaign. The positions were in sync. Many said that, that they enjoyed um, the squatter's time in office thus far and tout the strong economy. Problem is, this economy started under Obama, and it just got better while 45 took office. So 45 is not is not responsible for, for, responsible for a majority of it. Obama was. Um, supporters also said that illegal immigrants have no place in the country, and that if 45 can have a third term, they're all for it. Maybe uh, somebody says, um, maybe maybe the Democrats would get it right during during the third term and leave him alone so he could fuck up even more. Said one Trump supporter. Um, Rally goers waited online for more than 30 hours ahead of the doors opening for the main event, dealing with heavy rain to secure a prime spot. Prime spot to hear the squatter talk speak, and he, and he speaks at a third grade level, so maybe that's why they like him so much because the inbreeding redneck supporters that support Donald, um, they have a third grade they have a third grade level education, and maybe that's why they like him. Um, Um, our patriotic movement has been under assault from the very first day, 45 said, in front of the energized crowd. Um, we fucked up more than any other president has in the first two and a half years of, 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 of a presidency and under, uh, under circumstances that no president has had to deal with before. Um, the rally, um, even though 45 keeps insisting that he accomplished something, all he's been doing since squatting in the White House is undoing everything Obama did because that's how much he hates the guy. I said... Um, while thousands of supporters packed, um, packed the arena to express their um, imaginary, their cult-like praise for 45, not all of Orlando was behind another four years under the current administration. The Orlando Sentinel, the city's most widely distrib distributed newspaper, put out a scathing editorial just hours before their Klan rally in which it, in which it, it's going to endorse anyone but 45. It's only the fifth time in the paper's history that it, it hasn't that it hasn't supported the GOP candidate. Enough of the chaos. Um, and stuff like that, and I agree, I said, basically, we don't need another four years of, of 45 squatting, I said that he, we, um, what we need is a better candidate, and anybody, anybody, anybody other than 45 will do.